guys I'm Carter and I'm in the garage right now and let's see what we can build okay so first thing I came look over here and saw this nice wood fence post if y'all haven't seen I actually built that hoop out of a pallet and uh, I think it's on my personal TikTok over here we have these three things definitely might can include these so I'll put those in our pile I'm gonna keep looking through the garage and then I think there's some materials in the backyard, some wood we can grab and see if we can come up with something to build. Grab this piece of scrap wood. Yeah, there's some wood strips over there we might gather later. So we've got some wood out of the garage. So now let's go to the backyard and see what we can get. Here we are. Oh, look. We have a little friend. All right, I'm balancing my phone on the fence post right now, but we could definitely maybe use this this metal sign for your front yard, kind of just outline. You have a sign right here, put in your front yard, so we'll take that. That might be useful. And then this wood sheet right here. It's pretty damp, but I think we could still use it. So we'll throw that in the pile. Guys, you wanna check this out too. I actually built this out of random wood scraps last time. A little birdhouse, you know. Just a aesthetic looking thing, I guess. Nothing's ever moved in there. Except bugs and the bottom fell out. But right here, there's definitely some wood logs we could use. It's actually something I built earlier. As you can see, it has like a handle. And then it was on this sleigh where you could add weight. And it was a sled that we pulled in the back. But nothing much back here I think we can use. There is some old... Stuff, lots of bugs on it but maybe we could use that for something so we look through the backyard and also in the garage and we found a couple pieces of wood mainly in the backyard with our friend the lizard we found a, the metal frame and this big piece of wood that is cracked and damp but I'm pretty sure we can use this for something good I mean easily mark and cut this to, to maybe fit inside of there or something cool like that so let's see what we can do. All right, guys, I got some markers to mark up this thing along with some gloves. So let's see what I come up with. I have my lines here that I measured with that. And so I'm gonna grab a saw and someone put under this so I'm not obviously cutting to the concrete or making marks. I'm gonna use this skateboard underneath to help me get started on this piece of wood. So, let's get something prop the other end up. Okay. Got some towels maybe. One underneath. Pretty I would say. Maybe you can see a little bit better now. But got a beautiful cut started right here. It's gonna go, I think it's 24 inches this way, so there's 18 down. So cut that there, cut that there. So here's some video of me doing that. Making sure I'm staying on that red line as I cut through. Ooh, got a little bit off my line there, but I may just be from the beginning lining it up. Definitely made it through. Now I have a cut this way. I wonder if I clip the mic to the saw. So here's what we have. It's just a tad too long here. Out of here, which I'll probably have to cut up later. Put it in the trash can, but for now, it'll go over there. Look at this. I have one mark right there, and that's it from the saw. So that means I did a pretty good job, I think. This has a slice. 
This was picked up from a construction site. I didn't already tell you all that. But. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but now I'm going to go from the other side. I'm definitely getting splinters through these gloves, but I'm going to cut from the other side and meet in the middle. Now that might be a terrible idea to my carpenters out there, but we're going to try it. Soon. It's a beautiful cut through. All right, I'm down to 16% battery, but here's my cut. As you can see, the only thing I'm worried about is how I'm connecting this. It would just have to be from the upper holes there that I could nail this in. And that would have nothing at the bottom supporting it. Unless I use this scrap piece of wood to nail it in right there. I can nail that in and then connect these two. And then, Because I'll have to connect around here. Either way. Let's... Let's flip this over and see what it looks like. So that's what we have so far. So we're just going to have to live with that piece. But I think if I nail that in, I could easily put a rim similar to how I did it over there on these. I think that might make a great little hoop, I guess. Okay, the audio might sound different now because I have my phone plugged into a power bank because it was going to die. So, yeah, audio might sound a little different. But nonetheless, we're still gonna get this on. I grabbed the nail. I'm just gonna see if it fits through. Oh, I think we just have to use nails then. So I'll put one in here, maybe one over there, and then two in those top holes up there, right there, and right there, and then up there. Let's do that like, hmm. There we have it, nails are in, but they are sticking up. As you can see, yeah, uh, sticking up pretty good there. So let's go and bend those over so they don't get anybody or poke anybody, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so there it is. See, we're a little off that side, but that won't matter. So that's good. So now I'm gonna hoop out of that board right there. So let's try that. Do nine inch increments, get four of them square. And just like that, we're gonna add these metal pieces. How's it going? I'm making a little basketball hoop. This is what we're looking like now with the backboard piece on. I'm gonna put the extra last one right there. Finish the room. Alright, so we got the front rim on, nice and good, looks good. Let's do the last few finishing touches, and I'll show y'all what it looks like at the end. Before I show it to you, let's get this cleaned up. Ready? And boom, it is clean, but my mics also died, so I have no volume for the rest of the video. So here's me describing the basketball hoop. We have the backboard that was made out of some plywood, the little square that was made out of some old gate posts, and I know we had a fence board for the rim on a frame of a front yard sign. It was really fun to make, but let's get some shots up on it.